Hello everyone, I'm Wilson Hong from Movic 3D ENEA Technical Support Team. In this video, I will go through a simple workflow of KDoctor and I will use an example to show you how KDoctor can be used to reduce the geometrical defects and then to save the meshing time. Okay, so now we are in uh, Movic 3D Designer R16 and we will choose the boundary layer mesh mode, the BOM mode, in order to use KDoctor to help us to reduce the defects. So the first thing we're gonna do is to import the part. So I prepared the part called handle wheel. Open it. So now the part is imported and you see uh, some red curves which indicates that you got some uh, free edges on it. And we will use the check geometry in order to uh, see the details of the free edges. So uh, the yellow lines indicate to you that you got the, the free edges and you got actually over 1000 which is a lot. So we will need the help of Doctor to help us reduce the number of free edges. So uh, there will be a separate window of Doctor. And now we are in Kit Doctor, and uh, let's wait it till it is loaded. Okay, right now the part is inside Kit Doctor, and we can uh, start with the basic workflow of Kit Doctor. So basically, uh, we got only three buttons to finish everything in Kit Doctor. The first button is to check for the defect table. It will list you the defects you have in this model, and the second thing is that we will use the auto stitch to uh, eliminate the gap between uh, the surfaces. And finally, we will use the auto heal function to uh, eliminate the defects listed here. So firstly, we check the geometry, and now it is listing all the defects. And uh, then we use the auto stitch to see if we can uh, eliminate the defects here. But before that, you can see that before auto stitch, you got uh, like uh, 1,800 free edges, and we we will use a default tolerance to eliminate the free edges. And let's try. So now the defect, uh, the free edges left is only uh, 69, which is a big improvement. So let's fix it, and uh, the the defect table will be renewed again. And we use auto heal again. Uh, this uh, defect table will be renewed. Okay, so now we got only two kinds of uh, uh, defects left. One is the loop of free edges, but don't worry, we will go to fix it in designer instead of in Kdoctor. But here, Kdoctor already helped us to improve lots of the defects. And after everything is finished with Kdoctor, we can click on the export button at the top of the window, export. Then we will be back to Modex 3D. So now the free edge uh, is improved from over 1000 to only 65. It's still a lot, but Let's see what we can do in Modex 3D to uh, to reduce the defects. So we can go to a step four directly, and we will uh, modify the node setting. Let's give it as a uh, three for the mesh size. Okay, then generate only the surface mesh. Then we go to fix mode. So we see lots of free edges and also one uh, defect in aspect ratio. We can firstly try with the fix wizard. So fix wizard 
in Fixed Wizard, there are four steps. Step one is to uh, to merge the mesh with a tolerance value, execute with the default, and uh, step two, there's nothing to improve, then we skip. So step three, uh, it will automatically fill the holes, fill the free edges, so execute, then uh, fix the quality of the, like the aspect ratio, execute. Okay, so now it is perfectly fixed. You can see that now we have nothing in the defect table. So it's fixed. Then we are finished with fixing this model. But let's see if we don't use catutter, what will happen to this model. So we, can, we are back to step one. We delete this model and uh, import another one. Still the same model. Then uh, we are in step four. Then we modify the node seeding. We give it the same value as we just used three for it. And uh, without use catductor, we go to generate the mesh directly. Okay, so we go to fix mode. So in fixed mode, we see uh, much more uh, defect in the defect table. We can try with fixed wizard to see if it can help us to reduce the defects. So we go through step one to step four, execute four steps, execute. Yeah, it is uh, somehow improved with the defects, but still leave lots of defects and uh, to fix this number of defects is uh, takes it will take a long time of course so you we can see a big difference between using Qtart and without using Qtartr so using Qtart is very simple we go only three steps firstly we will check the geometry we will check the defects and uh, we will uh, use the auto stitch function to, uh, st to eliminate the gap between surfaces. And finally, we use auto heal. Then we are done with Catutter. And we go out back to Model 3D and we will finish everything with the sur surface machine. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to send your question to support.eu at model3d.com. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be making more videos to help you improve your Model 3D skills. I'm Wilson Home from Model 3D EMEA Support Team. Take care and goodbye.